guys, so I finish up my master's degree in about a month. So that will be the end of five years at university for me, five years at the same university and it's all been a really great experience. But I thought before I'm done, I might do a what's in my university bag video. I love stationery and study supplies and tumblers that just take pictures of studying and all that kind of jazz and stationery hauls so I thought basically I would do this and show you what I take to university with me when I'm going to study. Obviously this can vary on a day-to-day -day basis, just now I don't have any classes because I'm just doing my research so there are little things that would have been different when I still had class or when I was at a different stage of my research but this is what I'm carrying just now and I thought you might be interested. First things first, my backpack is from Kath Kidson. I have had this backpack for about three years now. I've used it to carry a ridiculous amount of heavy stuff into uni, including my laptop as it has a nice cushioned laptop compartment and it is still going pretty strong. It always keeps the rain out. So I'm really glad I bought this backpack and I think if this one ever dies, I'd probably just go and buy another backpack from uh, Kath Kidson as well. But now let's get into the contents. I'll start with a little front pocket here. In the front pocket, I have my purse, obviously not a study supply but I don't go anywhere without my purse and this is from Radley. I actually worked in Radley for three and a half years uh, with some really wonderful uh, women and it was a really positive experience but that's why I have so much Radley like handbags and purses and stuff and have my glasses in my glasses case and these are from Jigsaw, I got them in Boots um, but they are the brand Jigsaw. I then have a little notebook. I always like to have a little notebook just to make little to-do lists and notes. Self-references if I'm going to get library books and things like that. And this is from Moleskin. It came in a little pack of three. Headphones if I need to block out the rest of the sound at uni. And my inhaler because I take this most places, especially uni when I'm like walking. And then I have a USB stick. I either take my external hard drive or a USB stick whenever I'm going into the library just to keep things backed up because disaster can strike and you can lose a lot of important stuff. I think it was like a free gift, but it's like a little four gigabyte rabbit. It's, it's just adorable. I've had this for years. But now the main compartment. This bag does take a lot of stuff, which is good. Um, first, I have my phone charger and I have my laptop charger. Then I have my trusty pencil case. So this is from Paper Chase and it has inside lots of colourful pens because I like to make notes in different colours when I'm researching. Not when I'm in lectures, I like to just use a plain like biro pen. Um, but when I'm making notes for research and essay planning, I like to use different colours. I always have sticky tabs because these things are amazing for books and your own notes. always have at least one pencil so that if I want to write in my own books, I can write in pencil. If I didn't say, these colourful pens are from Stadler. It's quite like a common stationery brand, but I love these so much. And I always have a highlighter, always a yellow highlighter because I just, I don't really like any other colours of highlighters. It's essentially what I take in here. And have my diary planner, which is from Moleskin. I love these diaries. I repurchase them all the time. It's 18 months and... I'll show you a page I haven't written on, but so you get all of the days down here of the week and um, the weekend's a bit smaller and then a whole page just to make notes if you so choose on the side. And as you can see, I have my initials JZM embossed on this. Um, I know you can pay to get things like this done, but this was another thing that I got done when I worked at Radley because perks of the job. <laughs> then I have a canvas bag because I know if I'm going to the library, I'm going to come away with more books and they're not going to fit in my backpack. This one just says feminist on it and it's from Engender, which are a Scottish public sector organisation that just sort of do things for women's rights and stuff like that. I'll link their website down below. I then have a little makeup bag. Um, I, I don't take much makeup with me to uni, but I like to have um, a face powder just to like block because I've got super greasy skin. And I like to take my concealer, which is the Vici Derma Blend foundation, which I use as a concealer. Um, just because, like I said, my skin's pretty oily. I like to have lip balm because I hate dry lips. <laughs> and I like to have eye drops because I get really dry eyes. <laughs> it's from Osprey. It's pretty old, but it's good. I'll have hand cream. More stationary stuff now. I have two notebooks at the moment because, like I said, I'm doing my research for my dissertation and writing up my dissertation so just now I'm mainly working from my own notes. So like in this notebook here, which is from Paper Chase, I've taken all of my notes from um, like 
secondary scholarship and other scholars articles so that way I don't need to carry around their books or their articles printed off I've got the important stuff that I think I might use written down in here in different colors and have another paper chase notebook and this one's just more for planning and stuff like that so oh god which way does it go around um, so this one's just got more like little mind maps and notes of things I need to cover and questions I need to ask in my dissertation and me trying to plan out things I need to say and look up and stuff like that because um, I just I like to keep them separate I like to start off handwriting everything so that's why I use notebooks they're pretty heavy then I have this plastic envelope I think this plastic envelope came in a pack of three from paper chase as well because inside of this I have printed off a lot of the primary material I'm using so like quotes from ancient literature and stuff so that I could annotate them like translations of Greek passages just because again I like to handwrite things but I wanted to have the official quotes typed up and then to handwrite my own little notes next to them and just see them outside of the computer I think that can be quite good for working things through having them in front of you on paper and then I have a plastic folder I don't really like binders I have binders but I don't use them the whole punching and the organizing just seems far too much effort for me so I like to use these which just have like plastic envelopes inside them and sometimes like in here I've got some articles I printed off I've got the original notes from my dissertation proposal in here in case I want to look over those and yeah it just means if I end up with any other paper notes or articles I can just pop them in there as like I said this has a laptop compartment in here which is padded so I have my laptop which is a macbook pro that says apple pie on it if you didn't get that that's the greek letter pie apple pie it makes everybody laugh, you know. That is everything I'm currently carrying in my university bag. The only difference is that you'd maybe find um, during term time when I have classes, I would have had my Greek textbook and I would have had lecture notepads. I don't like to use big ring bound notebooks for taking my lecture notes. I like to use like jotters. So yeah, that's like an example of a jotter that I would have used. This I haven't used this for uni. And then I've got like every class in a different jotter and I like that. And the other thing I'd have at varying times would be library books or my own books. So like books I've been carrying around recently are things like my copy of Aristophanes and my copy of Euripides. But at the moment I have most of my material as I showed you, either written down in my notebooks or printed off the specific quotes I want. So I'm kind of past the stage of carrying around too many books, although I know I'm going to come back from the library today with some more books. But that is my university bag. I hope you enjoyed that. Maybe it was kind of useful for you. As you can see, I love bright colours and patterns and just like jazzy stationery. And I just like to make it fun and enjoyable to look at because it just makes me more enthusiastic to get down to work and use the stuff. But until next time guys, happy reading and if you're studying then good luck and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!